Well, I finally got out here and got this tank all scrubbed out. <laughs> Some skeptical chickens over there. Got this tank all scrubbed out and cleaned out. This valve was leaking. I got it resealed and tightened up. And now I'm in the process of uh, transferring water over from my other tank. So this is primarily to be used for my tropical fish. And this is my primary tank. That will be my secondary tank. And as you see right now, I'm pumping water over to it. Um, eventually, I'll have them all plumbed together and this will probably be all gravity flow. But I did pick up this really nice pump here, this Big Daddy, which is really intended to run a house. It's, um, I think, a third horsepower, so that'll, that'll move a lot of water. Um, and I think that once I get all this stuff connected together, I can use the big pump to uh, move water into the garden and use it for water in the garden into the greenhouse over there, which is kind of cool. I do have plans to put a rainwater catchment system on the top of the greenhouse, so it's going to get built up over here and the whole roof will shed across this way. This is just phase one. <laughs> Chickens have a lot to say today. It's a beautiful day out here in Eugene. But for today, I'm going to celebrate the fact that I got my number two tank established, got it cleaned up. Uh, probably won't stay here long term. The shop I, has a metal roof on it now, so I'm probably going to move this over to the shop roof as a catchment area. I don't know. It's all still being worked out. It's a project in, uh, in progress. Who knows how it'll turn out. <laughs> But anyway, well for now, I've got both tanks up and running, which is terrific and uh, gives me the opportunity while it's still springtime to catch this water and hold it for the use in the garden for later and for my fishes. Alright everybody, Dive Girl Deb signing out. Love you guys. Bye.